Uh, I know we haven't posted videos in a while. We've been very busy. I've been getting fatter. Shaved my face. You can see my double chin now. It's like a turkey's goblet just jiggling. I've gotten grayer crazier. and outer. Yeah, and grayer and fatter. Yeah. You just can't. Well, you can't see. I yeah. can see it right there. You got you to gotta sit up proper. These chairs don't really allow they for... They don't. I start sitting. I start this way, yeah. but then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm back there, and then I'm done. Okay. Uh, so we don't really have like a tutorial or anything uh, per se. Uh, we were doing some lens tests and kind of just put a little video together. It's a little piece you saw at the beginning. Uh, that's uh, on the Alexa. We're shooting a commercial coming up on the Alexa Mini. And um, just kind of wanted to share that. Jeff graded it. looks pretty awesome. And we were just going to kind of talk about if you guys have never shot an Alexa or played with one, um, it's not really first impressions, but it's kind of like, it's nice to go back to one, um, more so for Jeff than me, but like, it's nice uh -huh. to have that experience again and the pros and cons of it, not as a like sensor and pixel peeping, because that's, we all know you can get a great image out of almost any camera if you know what you're doing, but just the ease of use. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've missed it. It's, uh, goes back to old school style. Yeah. You know, especially with EVF, uh, just having all the buttons and like where where you think they should be. The menus are super simple. Yeah, the menu no... system has always been like amazing. <laughs> there's no there's no challenge for uh, accidentally hitting a wrong button or turning something off. Not really. Or, it's kind of made. It seems like it's made for dummies, but yeah. I actually think it's actually made so that you're not thinking about all the crazy settings. That's and what specs. it is. You can do it's it so really fast focus. and quick. Right. You can focus on what you're trying to do. Yeah. Um, all the work that I did, all the grading Jeff did, we were both be able, we were both able to play ProRes 444 back in full time on the PC and on the Mac. So we're editing at full resolution. There's yeah. no stutter. There's no slowdown. It just yeah. We didn't worked. shoot Ari Raw. No, it was There's not wrong. No, no reason. Not to for shoot this commercial. For this, yeah, for this spot. We have a cool daisy chain going with. It's not on there right now, but we actually have the uh, Atomos Shogun Inferno, whatever it is, attached to it. So yeah. that yes, we have the C fast read because the Alexa Mini only has one card slot. So we're getting that plus we're turning around and getting another backup on ProRes 444 that's on the Shogun or the Inferno, yeah. and then we're it's sending a signal from there with a LUT on it out to the uh client monitors so at the end of the day we're able to have this very simple workflow um and the alexa mini has 6g on the out so that means the uh, sdin on the inferno is getting 6g which means we're getting really a beefy pipeline yeah that's a good one what does that mean in post just means you can actually use that shogun for your actual final footage if you want to right it's not just a proxy anymore it's proxy but it's not a proxy and it's also not locking and you're not working yeah, you're, you're locking not locked it. into a right. look or anything but you're also you can lo literally lock sdi versus hdmi yeah. that could get popped out yeah and i can't afford that this is a big spot six figure spot uh, or series of spots so i can't really afford to go back to my clients and be like hey we don't have the foot gimmicks yeah, yeah something went wrong um it makes proxies faster. I mean, it, just the workflow in general is a completely delightful scenario versus that of Red. And you know, we're Red owners. We're GH5 uh -huh. owners. We've shot on the Ursa. We just finished a project. I still think the finishing worst a project on the Ursa is, is the H265 GH5. Yeah. Oh, I hate That's that workflow. Still the worst. Not my favorite. It's just I, beefy. It is. Uh, we also, uh, while we were gone, I broke a GH5. Uh, some yeah. lady randomly stopped in front well, of me. Oh, I broke let's the... Let's clear it. Yeah. yeah I broke <laughs> you the, didn't break a GH5. I broke the XL1R yeah. hot shoe gimmick. Snapped the bottom pin right off of it from the hot shoe. Um, I think I can fix it. We had to buy another one, which is what we have on there now. And we needed to have a second one anyway. So. We did. So. Uh, we still use GH5s. We love those. They're great little workhorse cameras, but... Use them um, most of the time. We do. But so. when we have a chance to shoot on something where we know we need the, the, the right tool for the job, yeah. in this case, four spots with the turnaround we have, um, the amount of data that we need to collect for it, and yep. the client and sort of the workflow, the onset workflow of appearances even. Yeah. And I, I don't know if, I don't think I've talked about this before. On the, on, this is the first time a client, not the agency, but the client. The we've talked client. about it before, but we've, we had never had it actually happen. Right. So, <laughs> so the client's client actually requested we shoot... Um, th they said Red or Alexa, but at that point it was like, yeah, let's just rent an Alexa. Yeah, and then, you know, we talked about not renting one for price-wise. Yeah. 
until then, I, I'm just going to, yeah. Yeah, shameless. Stupid, shameless. I don't care. I love Shout it. Out, I do too. If you guys have, so you're probably asking yourself, I can't afford it. I can't afford the rental. And it's, and it, look, I get it. It's 1500 bucks a day for an Alexa kit. Plus you got to get your glass. However, this is not a commercial for, this is not a sponsored video. We just love them this much. If you, we love lens rentals, but mag rents, if yep. you go magnanimousrentals.com, if you go over there, magrents.com or .biz, whatever it is. I think it it's is, mag rents. Just go over and check it out. We got the Alexa for seven days for the price of one day. Yeah. I want you to process that. So if you're doing a short or something, you could potentially rent an Alexa Mini for an entire month for roughly $6,000. Yeah. That is ludicrous. You could. That is unheard of. I know, it totally is. And uh, which is why we didn't cut it from the budget. <laughs> that's right. And so we kept it because it, now it made it affordable for us. In yeah. addition to that, we had a budget for lenses. We were going to shoot on Cook uh, Anamorphics, but the spots have changed. Yep. And luckily, we had the foresight to understand that. So we ended up renting one Cook um, uh, S4 Mini 18 yep. mil. And then we have uh, a five, six, five lens five set. set. Of Sumicron C's, which you guys know we love. Those are one of our favorite lenses. Yeah. And then we have an Atlas Orion anamorphic. 40 mil. 40 mil that we'll be using on one of the spots. So the spots will end up being uh, three, potentially four different lenses uh, for four, different, four spots different spots. Yeah. And mixing all kinds of stuff together. Yeah. So, again, Mag Rents made that a, a, a dream come true because when we went to go rent Sumicrons, they happened to be on sale. So I got uh -huh. a six lens or five lens set of Sumicrons for uh -huh. the price of... It was a six set at the time. Yeah, but we swapped the... Yeah, we ended up having to swap. But we got it. We did. For dirt cheap. I mean, like 1100 bucks. And they so. let us swap out that one for a Cook S4, which is extremely nice. Yeah. They deliver well. Yeah. It's fast. It's timely. They, yep. they, they're they a joy. To, again, not a commercial, but if anyone's ever wanted to experiment and rent it, they, you have to prove to them that you're worthy in like showing some work you've done, and you have to have insurance, of course. Point being is that you have an opportunity to rent some great stuff and uh, great gear and get it at insane price. They had a weapon on sale the other day for like two fifty eight for yeah, three days. They had a weapon for a, long, a lot. A full weapon package yeah. for two fifty eight. They had I mean, a raven stupid. package, a scarlet package for really, really cheap. Yeah. They just sell stuff. Uh, they put it up yeah. cheap. So uh, that's kind of where we are at, what's going on. We wanted to give you guys a heads up. We also just wanted to encourage you to like do like what we do. When a, when a project comes along, we, we dig into the budget. We try to figure out what's going to work best and how to make it work best. And yeah, that's what we've done. So here's uh, some of the footage. Uh, we cut a little sequence together to kind of help us understand a variety of different workflow things. But we're just going to share it with you. Uh, and here it is. Yeah. Stories of my papa to the sky This is a heist, this is a heist You're only looking for one thing You wanna steal my heart from me I got it, my love, like it was for blocks I kept it under lock and key No breaking in, no heartbreaks again Those bad boys and those scars, they leave But I barely make out you walk by But you saw something you liked. Oh, you were armed, and I was charmed, but you were a thief. So raise them up, up, up to the sky. This is a heist, this is a heist. So raise them up, up, up to the sky. This is a heist, this is a heist. You're only looking for one thing. You want to steal my heart from me. This is a hold up, give me all you got. I'm here, honey, take your shot I'll be your Bonnie to your Clyde, baby You got that thing that drives me crazy But I barely saw you walk in But you saw something Alright, well thanks for watching, I know it's been a bit But uh, thanks for hanging out with us We miss you guys, we miss the live streams We've just been getting fat and busy Oh, I've been getting fat Jeff's been I've busy. been getting fat too Jeff's fat just been getting Jeff How's that? I wasn't tearing you down. No. I was tearing me down. Love lift me up where we were. That's not how the lyrics go. No. It's where we belong. I've been it's watching where wings we belong. Lately. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, yeah, you have been watching wings. Yeah. All there right. You go. <laughs> that, that was the perfect game. And there you get the sound phone. All right, so uh, that's it. That's us. We're here. Uh, we'll yep. post some more stuff. Uh, videos will be infrequent. If you have questions, hit us up. Uh, we'll talk about it. We're doing a massive, we have a BTS unit, Matty B, shout out to yep. Matty B, doing some BTS in all these spots. We'll break them down, super detailed. 
Uh, maybe even do some live stream talking about them after we can kind of show some BTS stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an Ursa project that's a mix of Ursa, GH5, and Red. Kind of a crazy project coming up if you're into that camera side of it. And we're all about growth. So uh, if you have questions or have thoughts or whatever, post it in the comments. We try and reply. And or you can always hit us up. You can find us on Instagram at Craft Show. You can find us on Facebook at Craft Show. You can find us uh -huh. on Twitter at Craft Show. Uh, you can hit Jeff up at Jeff at Craft Show. You can hit Drew at Drew at Craft Show. And uh, YouTube channel Craft Show. Oh, of course. Even though I mean, we're yeah, on there. We're on there right now. Yeah. Um, you can find us on PlayStation playing Division, but we're not going to give you our names. <laughs> <laughs>